About a month ago, I announced the cosmetic render challenge and a lot of you guys got to work immediately and over the course of the following two weeks, I got a lot of submissions, 22 submissions in total. Typically, we would review them all, but if we were to do that, this video would get ridiculously long and probably boring. In order to avoid that, we'll be taking a look at the best ones, the top 10 submissions. I probably shouldn't be telling you this now, but the top 3, mm, Let's just say it would definitely be worth it to watch this video to the end. You can as well like the video right now. So strap in guys, this is going to be fun. Starting out at number 10, we have Busy Design. Let's check it out. First of all, this music man. <laughs> <laughs> what? So for concept, I'm giving this a 3.5. Actually, like where the video was going to. In the beginning, we can see this really cool shot. I love the first shot, the way the product comes out. It's really nice. And I thought we were going to keep that vibe of like some high quality edge lighting and whatnot. But in the following shots, things just went the other way. You can see a lot of overexposure here extreme highlight in here it just stopped looking good but from the first shot it looks very very nice so i like the concept but it wasn't just executed as well as it possibly could i think it's the lighting thing the lighting issue so that's a 3.5 for animation i'm also going to give this a 3.5 uh it's above average but then it wasn't like super special or super dope right it's not an average animation it's not like a beginner's work the person puts in a little bit more effort but i knew it could have been better yeah a lot of the animations were, were basic stuff right but i knew it could be better so a 3.5 for sound design i'm giving this a one come on listen to the music the music is like a christmas night kind of vibe this is a beauty commercial this is a cosmetic render challenge we need something punchy something cosmetic-ish you know look for some references from guys like fenty beauty and look at how their music usually goes usually punchy usually straight to the point not slow and christmasy and for marketability i'm giving this a two uh it's really nice i think the only thing you should hear is how cool the product and the packaging is i think yeah how cool the product is you just showed off the product hey look at novo it's nice it looks cool so uh i don't think this video would make me buy this product if i was interested in buying a lipstick so yeah thank you very much for participating in this challenge i would love to see you in the next one for number nine we have zaid side let's take a look For concept, I'm going to give this a 2.5. I like it, I don't hate it, but I don't love it, you get. And also because the there is something about the, the colors. It doesn't give this crisp, shiny look of beauty product. They have this, this lighting to them. They have this uh, standout look, right? They, they really stand out, they look very sharp. This is giving, it's giving me crayon vibes. <laughs> <laughs> to be very honest, these lipsticks are giving me crayon vibes. Not like a beauty product, like it's luxury beauty product. But for some shots, they work. Like this shot it actually works. This is actually very cool. Another shot I like was this when it came up. Yeah, that was dope. Uh, for animation, I'm giving this a 2.5. A lot could have been done better. For example, here, I like this transition where the lipstick opens up. But one thing that could have been done, one little thing that could have been adjusted was over here, rotating the middle axis is actually weird. Then when you moved in, when you zoomed in you still kept the axis of rotation and instead of it to just rotate at a point it was just flying all over the screen so that was just weird it seems like a lot more efforts could have been put in for the animation for the sound design i'm giving this a two because a lot of sound effects could have been used here because there were a lot of movements a lot of swiping and all that but they weren't yeah but i have nothing against music so the music is not bad but a lot more could have been done in sound effects and for marketability i'm giving this a three uh you tried your best to show like features of the product the benefits of the product mostly the biggest thing here that i think everyone did was show the different color options you showed that right from the start you showed that in the next shots right and then you mentioned some things like matte lipstick and all that it was it was better than average uh but would this video make me buy this product i don't know <laughs> 
I don't know, right? All these things work together to inform the marketability. If the animation is not that good, if the sound design is not that good, it affects how well the product is marketable, right? So yeah, I'm giving this a three for marketability. Thank you so much for participating in this challenge. I would love to see you in the next one. Number eight on our list is Drew Desk. Let's take a look. I really really like this video like the style is just really nice i like the clean look of it for concept i'm giving this a four because i i like a lot of things about this video if you were to pause a random point to this video it will look nice that is what i'm talking about there is some really cool stuff happening here like i like the effect you did with the moisturizing part yeah this was really cool like i didn't expect to see that right and the ladies in the end nice touch <laughs> But yeah, I'm giving it a 3 for animation. For sound design, this this sound is definitely not for a beauty product. <laughs> this music is not for beauty products, man. This is more like a like a like an event type video, like a snappy get to the point event type video. But this this doesn't work for a beauty brand. I know this because I've seen a lot of beauty videos, right? Looking for references, I've I've seen a, a ton of beauty content so this is not a style of music this is like a workout video type music for the other side of sound design sound effects i don't think you are strong on sound effects here so i'm giving it a 2 and for marketability i'm giving it a 2.5 pretty average it's not bad and it's not great one thing i really love is what you did with the silky smooth i really like that part that is like my favorite part of this video so that's it for drew desk thank you very much man for participating in this challenge i would love to see you in the next one number seven on our list is cg robok let's take a look Man, this video was on its way to looking very, very nice. Just some some aspects didn't just work. So for concept, I'm giving this a three. Uh, I like what you were trying to do here, the entire studio vibe. I like some edits you made to the music. But yeah, some parts of it were just off. Like this yellow scene. Having yellow with red in the foreground, having yellow as the background doesn't work in a lot of ways. Especially with this entire gradient lighting you have in the background. Didn't just, didn't just work for me, man. This video could have been really, really clean because the product is really nice. I like the product design. Very clean, white and red. If I were you, I would have pushed towards that white and red look. So as regards animation, I'm giving this a 3 also. It's better than average. Uh, I really like some parts. I like the intro, the way the camera just tilted i love that i also like this shot of the product just opening up in a circle what i would have done differently would have been to remove these two products here this and this so the product just circles around the shades right probably put the 10 out here or put the 10 in the center or something and then having the product go from here to here without covering the shades you get what i'm saying so yeah i like some shots here but a lot of them were just all right for sound design i'm giving this a 3.5 because it wasn't bad it wasn't bad by any means a lot of the cuts were to the music and uh for sound effects i don't think you went heavy on it but but yeah i like the fact that the music worked and a lot of the cuts were working with the music marketability i'm giving this a three because uh for the most part you showed us the 10 shades and i love that i love that you showed us the 10 available shades which is basically usually the selling point i've worked on a lot of lipstick products here yeah, for my clients so i know that the shade that usually the most important thing they have like one or two or three shades that they really really love and then the rest they want to show it off to the world so i like that you did that here but i think that was basically it apart from the the kiss proof joke <laughs> thank you very much for participating in the challenge i would love to see you in the next one number six on our list is zao elpis i hope i'm not butchering this name let's take a look yeah i really like this video yeah i like a lot about this video uh especially the environment design you spent some time making the environment look good so for concept i'm giving this a five straight away I, I really like i really like that you took your time in a lot of things man like the packaging come on the way the logo peeled off super nice the way the packaging worked and the product just came out i also like that for animation i'm going to give this a four it was pretty nice animation going in here uh there was not a lot of animation happening 
afternoon right apart from camera movement but where animation happened it was all right and everything just looks cool looks sharp looks nice i like it i like the music i like the music uh does it work for a beauty product i don't know <laughs> but i like the music uh yeah for sound design i'm giving this a three and for marketability i'm going to give this a 2.5 this was a really cool render right this was good as a render probably not as a an, an actual product launch video but yeah for marketability i'm giving it a 2.5 i didn't even see if there any different colors i don't i don't think there are different colors for this specific product seems like it's just the red which is nice that might just be the thing that they are launching but I don't, I don't know any beauty brands that launch with just one color <laughs> yeah so it didn't really tell us what's cool about the product but the actual video looks cool so 2.5 for that thank you so much for participating in this challenge and i'd love to see you in the next one now we are in the top five guys it's about to get very interesting at number five we have path javeri <laughs> I love a lot of things about this video. The design style works. Like each frame could be paused and they would look nice as an image. What you did with colors actually worked. Like I don't I actually don't know why some of the submissions didn't get colors right. But what you did with colors really worked here. Look at this frame. Black and white, very neutral colors. At the edge, we have the colors of the product. Uh it, it's very neutral. Most of it is neutral. Black and white and gold. Then the actual colors of the products, you didn't you didn't push it in our faces. It was just the lipstick and this extreme ends you can't go wrong with monochromatic backgrounds white and black you can't go wrong with it and just making the color pop and yeah this shorts i know where you got this from ha. i have my eyes on you <laughs> so for concept i'm giving this a four really nice for animation i'm also giving this a four for sound design as you can see i'm already bumping to the music i'm also giving this a four for marketability i'm giving this a three really nice video really nice concept really nice eye-catching video I, I really love that thank you so much for participating in this challenge i would love to see you and your creative ideas in the next one for number four on the list we have monash magul i don't want to destroy this thing so you can see it on the screen let's take a look at this video Yeah, a lot of things are working with this video. I really like a lot of it, yeah, especially the scenes with black backgrounds look really nice. Yeah, I didn't like the one with the red background as much. The gradient was too deep. The edges were pretty much black and the middle was red. But apart from that specific shot, yeah, this one really works. For concept, I'm going to give this a 4.5. For animation, I'm giving this a 4. For sound design, I'm giving this a 4. I like the music. I like what you did in the low. I think you messed with the music because first of all, with the entire montage in the beginning, you put the right sound effects there. So yeah, that worked. When the cap came up, really blended with the music the broken glass really really worked so yeah this was really good with sound effects finally for marketability i'll give this a two this looks really good right there is looking good and there is telling me why i should buy for the cg community for the guys that like seeing cool stuff this actually looks really good but for someone that is a customer that would probably want to buy a lipstick product except they already love chanel and will buy every single thing chanel has to offer yeah <laughs> that's why they would buy this product apart from that i don't think you showed me what is unique about the product apart from it looks good and it's chanel but anyways thank you so much for participating in this challenge i would love to see you in the next one and now for the moment we've all been waiting for the top three at number three is motion by manish let's take a look I really love this video for so many reasons it's just clean right the monochromatic vibe uh the music very chill calm and beauty commercialish uh even the brand name i love it amaranth it looks like a real brand is, is it a real brand for concept i'm giving this a four the concept wasn't like mind-blowing but i love what you did with animation the animation carried the concept for animation though i'm going to give this a five 
beautiful what you did with the cool shots what you did with shadow in the beginning what you did with the rotating shots i love every single part of it man for sound design i'm also giving this a five for marketability i'm giving this a four really nice i like how you showed the color variation and you kept it safe you played it safe you didn't go crazy with colors all the tones were similar right it seemed like they are meant to be in that collection thank you so much for participating in this challenge you made it to the top three and i would love to see you in the next challenge for number two this is getting spicy you got a rope let's take a look This is one of my favorite rides. This is one of my favorite rides. I really love a lot of things about this. The way you play with the music. The music really works with this brand. This brand is giving me playful and colorful. And the music was in the same vibe. Like it, it was very hard for me to choose between this and the previous one. They just both nice. <laughs> it was hard. The closer we get to the top, the harder it was for me to just choose. I'm giving this a four for concept, just because compared to like the other submissions, it was good, but it wasn't as good as some others. So I really like this. There were some places where you used sound effects and they work, and there were some places where you could have used it and you didn't. So it was almost perfect. So a 4.5 for sound effects. And finally for marketability, this gets a five, a whole five. Just because you went straight to it man logo black man next thing look at the colors it's really good and next thing look at it it's smooth next thing is lightweight as someone that wants a new lipstick product i see this out yeah i would, I would love to at least want to know more about it so this is awesome man. thank you so much for participating in this challenge i'd love to see you in the next one and now at number one the winner of the cosmetic render challenge they can't see me like Odini. Made by Omkar. Guys, how, how is he doing it? For the third time in a row, Omkar has taken the trophy for the first position in these render challenges. I really like this video. For concept, I'm giving this a five out the gates. A lot of creativity came into this video. It, it has that sharp look, that sharp, clean, cosmetic vibe throughout the entire video. That shiny look, I love it. He focused on one specific color palette and you guys know I like when you do that. The thing is, this video almost had a perfect score. For animation, I'm giving this a four point five i really wanted to give this a five but there is this part in the shot where i thought it could have been smoother right omga has a way of making very smooth shots but from this section right from here up until here i thought it could have been smoother i don't know if it was intentional if your timing was intentional just to fit to the music but from the rotation to when the product flew up in the air i feel like it could have been a lot smoother i think it's one shot and you punched in so i don't really have much problem with that but when the product flies up at the point where it just almost comes out of frame that's the point where you should cut to the next shot when it now comes into the next shot but here it seems like two different motions it seemed like those two separate things happening it didn't feel like one right so there was too much time in between flying up and then flying up i would have just merged the interpolation to be so seamless so yeah that's why i gave it the 4.5 for sound design this gets a 5 the music i love it he has this beauty commercial type vibe this really high quality luxurious vibe and uh sound effects you guys know Omka usually kills it in that department so yeah that's a 5 and for marketability also a 5 because this guy found the most creative way to show what everyone else has been showing right you know for this kind of video the main thing we are focusing on here is like the color options and stuff he found very creative way to show these things like look at it it's silky smooth then there is a cloth simulation for the color options he didn't just do some basic thing right he found a creative way to just show us then long lasting he used a uh, clock i did not expect that i didn't expect to see that that was one of the things that made me go okay this is something and i actually like the design of the clock so minimalistic jesus i am just seeing this there is no way this guy win that one <laughs> i'm just seeing this the clock seems to be made out of the product like the numbers of the clock yeah is it just me yeah the numbers of the clock is made out of the product that is so creative now come on guys yeah marketability gets the five so that makes omka the winner congratulations man you're going places thanks for showing up again even though we told you not to show up <laughs> 
we'll still love to see more challenges and i would love everyone to step up and i would love to see even more creative and even crazier concepts coming up in these challenges and there we have it guys you guys really stepped up your game on this one and although we couldn't check out the other 12 i could see that every single one of you put in the effort to create some great work and that's worth appreciating thank you guys for participating and thank you to everyone else especially you the viewer for lending me your attention and watching this render review all the way to the end so guys until next time peace